The owners of a local thrift store say the homeless use the area behind their shop like a bathroom, but that's not the worst of it. They're pretty disgusting. They say someone then wrote a racial slur on their back door with the feces. So is this a hate crime? CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Sacramento getting answers. Ryan. Yeah, that's right. The store owners definitely feel that's the case, but the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says there's a lot of criteria to go for and through to figure out if what happened behind this fence on their back door is a hate crime. I cried for my husband and my children. I cried for um, all of the hard work that we've put into this store. Melissa Jones says when her husband Thomas opened up the back gate near their store, he saw something he couldn't believe. They used the bathroom back there, took their own feces, and, 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 and rubbed it on the wall and put the N-word on the wall. The couple believes a homeless person has something against them and smeared the vile slur on the store door. With my husband being African American and my children being African American, I know 100% that this is a hate crime. But does the sheriff's office consider this a hate crime? Sergeant Tess Detterdine says there's a lot of criteria that goes into determining that. The crime has to be defacing or discriminating against a specific group of people based on things like race or religion. So be able to collect evidence, photos and, and other types of evidence um, to be able to establish whether or not this is a pattern. Can they link it to other like crimes in the area? Melissa Jones tells CBS 13 they're frustrated that the issues with the homeless continue and want something done about it. So if you give them the tools that they need to, to take these people and force them into rehabilitation, force them into doing something else, we would have tools in our toolbox to be able to help these people and, and, and at least give us some protection. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office also says that they need to gather witness statements and also possibly find the suspect. And if this individual is in fact homeless, it could be hard to locate them considering they are transient. Yeah, frustrating times for business owners, and this takes it to a whole new ugly level. Ryan, thank you. Live in Sacramento tonight.